Welcome back everybody from the SHOT Show 2022. We're back in the Civivi studio and I've got the new knives that we talked about at the show that we showed off to all of our dealer friends and everybody there. Now we're giving you a quick close up look at some of the new designs that will be coming out in 22 from Civivi. First off, I wanna show you guys a brand new cool little pry bar tool. Um, it's an Ostapel design and this little guy needs to go on your keychain so that you don't m abuse and misuse your knives anymore. Okay, this little lightweight piece of titanium goes on your keychain and gives you a tool to use for all those tasks that you should not be using your knife for. Um, really kind of a cool purple iridescent type color right here. Um, and the MSRP on this thing is uh, right around $27. So a really affordable piece to add to your EDC collection. Thank you, Ostop, for that. Um, guys, you will notice a common theme here. We're just going to go ahead and call 2022 the year of the button lock for Civivi. We have a bunch of new button locks that have recently come out and that are coming out. The very first button lock we did was the button lock Elementum last year. Um, then we followed it up with the Cogent, the Civivi Cogent uh, flipper button lock. And available on January 27th is the Altus thumb stud button lock from Civivi. There's another video on that uh, that we're posting right here as, along with this video. Um, new, uh, debuted at the show, is the Conspirator. Guys, this one is just a little bit bigger than the Altus. Um, let's take a quick look at it compared to the Cogent. We've got a very, very similar blade size, uh, but a different profile. Okay, so I don't have the specs on this knife yet. It's, it is new and I don't have a launch date for it. Uh, but it will be coming out sometime soon in 2022. Um, I have four versions of it right here on the table. There's the Kuborsha wood with the Greystone wash blade, Micarta with Damascus, uh, Micarta with a Greystone wash, and a, another Micarta with a uh, black stone wash blade. Okay, one of the cool things about this knife, you have a fuller in there. You can definitely get a middle finger flick out of this knife. Um, you have the flipper tab on there as well, giving you uh, multiple deployment options and a great size knife. Um, this is coming in right around three and a half inches on the blade. Um, very similar to the size of the Cogent, like I mentioned, um, but a little bit different blade shape and a little bit different functionality on this guy. So stay tuned for this one. That's going to be a hit. Another one that we're releasing, I don't have a name on this one yet. Another button lock, a little bit smaller than the Conspirator, a little bit bigger than the Altus, and a uh, more of a sheep's foot uh, blade on this guy. This one is going to be a hit as well, guys. Everything that we do in button lock, Civivi is nailed button locks. Um, it's a fantastic design, super easy to use, very intuitive, multiple deployment methods on most of these guys. This one, you've got the flipper tab as well as the uh, fuller for the middle finger flick. Um, all of these button locks that we're talking about have reversible pocket clips um, along with the button that makes them very very versatile for left or right hand carry. They all come with those deep carry uh, stainless steel pocket clips and man, these are just fun. The blade steel on this guy is right now um, etched in at 14C28N. Um, I, I'm not positive if it will be released with that steel, but it likely will when they make a prototype. Um, that's typically how it gets released. Um, the Conspirator is a Nitro V blade. The other version of this uh, unnamed knife that we have is a wood with a Damascus blade. And, uh, and that wood in Damascus is always a, always a popular hit um, with the crowd. So. Stay tuned for this crowd pleaser coming soon. Last but certainly not least, we have a new collaboration with Tony Sentmanat from Real World Tactical. Um, Tony, thanks for coming by our booth, thanks for spending some time with us, and thanks for this really cool and unique design. This is something that has not been done before. Tony wanted to try something that was a, a little bit unique and uh, suited to the training that he does in the law enforcement self-defense community. What he wanted to do was make a two position fixed blade knife. Okay? The reason for that is to give options, right? Tony believes in options. Um, every motion should be a cutting motion, which means that every portion of this blade should be sharp. Okay, so that's, what, that's what he did here. It's a really fantastic, unique design. Um, everything is sharp on there. When it, you put it in the sheath, 
Uh, you can put it in either the karambit position or the straight position. And when you push on that sheath with your thumb to pull the knife out, you're perfectly placed in position with your thumb on that jimping right there to get this blade into action. Now this is definitely something different than we have done in the past, um, entering that kind of self-defense tactical market. And Tony was a great person to partner up on this with us. This is a Nitro V blade steel. The MSRP comes in at right around $155. So this will be an affordable um, EDC defensive blade um, that again, it's available in, or not available in, but switches with the push of a button from a straight fixed blade type knife to a Krambit style knife. Um, we've got that ring on the top that's got your glass breaker and impact edge and this feels solid in the hand. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing some of Tony's videos showing us how to, um, to use and train with this knife. So stay tuned for that. This knife is going to be available right around uh, early May um, of this year. So guys, that's what we have on the table right now. Um, there will be additional knives dropping throughout the year. So stay tuned, make sure you're on our email lists, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and uh, keep an eye out for surprise drops throughout the year. Please let us know what you think about these models in the comments and uh, let us know what you think we might be missing for this year, what we should add, or what your favorite models are. Uh, keep us posted, we do listen to what you have to say. Um, once again, thanks for dropping by and have a great day.